so this this is a, a very simple Apollo server instance, and whenever you start it up, it it's it does a very dumb check just to make sure that you have an authorization right. header. It doesn't matter what the header is, it just needs right. an authorization header. And this can be very common if you're running, uh, if you're trying to actually publish a schema, like run schema check or schema push against uh, a developer, a development endpoint, or even a production endpoint that you're running, but you don't want anybody to just come and make yeah. requests against it. Yeah, you might have an authorization header. Uh, that you want to use. So, this is a very dumb example as far as like implementation goes, but the config is Point the exact same as it would be. You had otherwise. more complex authorization, so, the same rules apply. Is that, yeah, okay, cool. Yes, yeah. <laughs> implementation here in the server.js file is not what it would look like, but the config.js file is how you would configure something yeah. that had complex, more I complex authorization. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so without like actually starting up this, we don't need to start up this because it, it does the same thing. If we just look at the config cool. file, we can talk yeah. through it similarly. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this thing, uh, it's a service project. So we have a top level uh... service key, um, <laughs> literally anything here. <laughs> um, under that uh, service, instead of listing out files like includes or excludes, instead of listing out anything else, uh, we're saying, hey, we're actually going to be fetching our schema that we want to check against the published one. We're actually fetching this from an endpoint uh, and it happens to be localhost 4001. And this is how you ha add headers. Um, is you just have a oh, header ski, an authorization easy. token. Um, yeah. And this is like, this is where having a config file is like, comes in to be really important because if not, you'd have to do something like Apollo um, service check um, endpoint is I'm already this tired. This thing, whatever you want to call your endpoint, um, give a, a header that's author authorization, mm. authorization, and your key. If you have any other headers, you have to repeat oh, no. that.